before I start the video, um, I just want to clarify something. Um, I was recording part four, this part, and what happened was is that I started to slow down. I was making a lot of mistakes. I was getting hit by everything. Don't know why. And so half when I was halfway through the next area, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to try this again. So I stopped the game and I stopped the recording and everything. But the problem was I I saved my game during the recording. So I had to play through the entire game again. I had to do it. I did it all the exact same way. I did it the exact same way. Of course, I made a little bit a little bit things faster here and there. I made it back to the exact same spot, playing through the beginning of the game again, and, uh, but I did it two minutes faster, so my time has been shortened by two minutes getting up to this point, so in case anyone might notice that, and also as another precaution, I will not be saving during my recordings again, so just thought I'd throw a bit of a heads up. Th Hello everybody, and welcome back to Metroid Zero Mission. So, we're going to continue where we left off. The last thing we obtained was the Almighty Varia suit. So now, with this, we are able to go deeper into Norfair. So, I'm going to go ahead and shine spark this. Make everything easier. Break through the floor. Moving on. This way. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Right. Now, since we have the super missiles, we can open this door. I'm not going to go in there yet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Shine Spark going. So, I'm going to speed boost and I'm going to Shine Spark to the left through this door. I just saved myself a crap ton of hell. So, now I'm going to get myself. A missile expansion that's hidden here in a block. Stupid lava seahorses. I don't know what their actual names are, so... Sorry to anyone who... Okay. I made it. Huh, that was close. So we get another super missile tank. So now we have two super missiles. We're only gonna get one per expansion, which really sucks. Because of the fact that we're playing on hard mode. What in the hell am I doing? There's a faster way back. Okay, and that shine sparking back back through that hallway, so I'm going to do that. They give you enough room to run and pull it off. Go. Moving on. Okay, destroy that. And then shoot the piss out of this way. Here we go. Now... We want to go back here, you know, so we're back over here where the where the high jump boots were. That's because the that little narrow passageway right that little narrow passageway right there is where we need to go. I'm going to go ahead and heal myself at this nice little Chozo statue because they rock. All right. Now to get up, get a bomb through there. Ceiling part. Jump. Freeze. Okay. I'm gonna destroy all these as quick as possible. Okay. Kill these guys off. And go. And jump. All right, made it. Sweet. Oh crap. A hole. Okay. Keep moving. Go straight this way. Freeze you. Jump on you. Freeze you. Jump on you. You jump on you. Ow. Okay. 
down here. You need to go to the right. It's for you. It's for you. It's for you. Okay. Go through here. We have to make a bunch of... Do some platforming through this hallway. You know, uh, I used to think of this thing with my friends, where it was like, it's like the fear of standing on single block platforms. Like, I was like, I like the genius that I am, I had to think of a word to describe this fear of standing on single block platforms, so I just called it cubitis. And then we all like rolled with it for like a year or so, and then we just like totally dropped it. Cubitis, the fear of standing on. No, cube, no cube phobia. That should be what it is, but I don't know if that's like the fear of squares or what. All right, now to get this missile expansion, it's kind of tricky. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I made it. You have to, sh you have to try and jump at the right height for the red flying bug thing to get to a good distance from you to where you can jump to it straight to um that way you can get to the uh missile that way you can get to the super missile expansion now since we have three super missile expansions we have three super missiles so now the quick way back is to shine spark so now we have only three super missiles so we have three super missiles which that's a number i'll gladly accept trust me it's a good number of super missiles. That means I can that means I can completely pwn something with three super missiles. Because you know, they're super missiles. Because super missiles are strong. Because they're super missiles. That's why they have the word super in their name. Ow. Ow! Let me just jumping into crap. It's like me to do that, honestly. I'm not surprised if I do that more often. Time to missile barrage through this. Alright. Now we have a false block here. Fake lava. And so we come in here. And can't really deal with that guy. So I'm just going to drop him real fast. That way you can make this experience quicker. And we get the wave beam. What this beam does is it increases the strength of our beam, thank god, and our beam can now shoot through walls. We, will, we no longer have the factor of hitting walls anymore. So that means I can just own this guy, like so. My beam's going through the wall, which is completely awesome. The wave beam is very useful. Not to, I mean, the fact that it also makes your beam stronger just makes it even better. Save room here. Now here, you want to keep moving and don't stop shooting. Go. Then we're gonna enter this weird room with this bug. You wanna kill this one, or with these bugs. You wanna kill that one by standing under it, shooting your wave beam. And to kill this one, you have to like time your bomb placements. That way you'll hit its belly, which that succeeded. Shoot a missile right here, and then shoot up, and we get ourselves an energy tank. Now here, I messed up here before, you want to keep moving right, but don't stop shooting. Ah, that still didn't work. Looks like you're going to have to open that up anyway. Alright. So, speed boost. Breakthrough, made it. Get this missile tank. I switch between missile tank and missile expansion a lot, don't I? I apologize for that. Now when we come in here, we morph ball through here and we're stuck in here. And right here we have a another sub boss. Now, this guy's really easy. You only have to worry about taking damage from this guy. 
You have to wait for the little flying shell bug thing to get over here. Right. And there we have it. Beat him. He fall down the floor, falls through the floor, and opens up a new path. We're gonna take this path. Go down the elevator. Well, it looks like that ship landed on Zebus. And someone isn't happy. Alright. Wanna go through the left door? Then we want to head up, and then there's that bug. Okay, this is the part where I said that, like, even though I kind of got the super missiles early, I'm not going to use it to progress forward, so that's the spot right there. Because, I mean, I will have to come back, I mean, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get the super missiles here anyway, so I figured why not do it now. Seems like he didn't fall through a hole. Looks like he tunneled it. Now he's not even there. Fall through a hole. And I don't like the looks of this. Oh my god, it's a huge bug. Unloaded my three super missiles on it. And that really hurt a lot, so it's probably going to die in a minute. And it is. Yay! dead, bro. Now give me my super missile. Yeah, getting super missiles early just makes that guy way too easy. But still, we're just gonna pretend that this is my first time getting the super missiles. So yay, we got the super missiles. Allows us to open green doors. As proof of concept, opens green door. Now we're starting to get into the midst of Ridley what this place is called. I'm gonna morph ball through here because it's safer. Less time consuming. Alright, now there is a there's a four wide hole so I'm gonna try and uh, oh yes I made it. Thank god. Now it saves you a lot of time if you manage to wall kick if you manage to wall kick off the off one side of the hole in order to get over to the E tank. But you don't. But you can never really remember where the hole is because it's it's the illusion of the fact that you can't see it there. It makes it harder for you to like justify that you're jumping at the right spot. Well, I'm glad I got that. It saved me a lot of time last time. That didn't work out. I want to head down. Get another missile tank. Move it, brah. Right. Now. We need to hit this stupid map room because we have to. And I'm, I mean, like, we could jump over it, but in order to get a power up, we have, like, and I mean, from what I've seen, from what I've done, you have to do this. Okay. We're in this little really long hallway. So you notice that when you shoot and make an opening here, you're given enough room to speed boost. Now, this is here for a reason. You could think, you could use it to shoot yourself to the right, but, no, oh, god damn it. That's what I get for trying to talk. Okay. You could use Shine Spark to shoot yourself all the way to the end of the hallway to the right. But the Oh, god damn it. Come on. But the real reason you like the another reason this is here other than to make this hallway a lot shorter is you want to shoot to the left this way. And there are three blocks right here and those are speed booster blocks. Run against the wall here because we're going to speed boost and Shine Spark again. Shine Spark up here grab on here. Now this is where it gets tricky. I hate this room. Like I said. I start to flinch and mess up. That's what I like doing. That's just how I roll. I like screwing up all the damn time. Okay. Here we go. Up. Grab this. Grab that. Shoot a missile. Like that. Now this part's tricky. What you have to do is you have to aim down diagonal, shoot, and then quickly go into morph ball, go through here, and rush to the missile tank. Because the reason why is because that block right there to the right 
that's gonna get in the way. I'm gonna shoot my beam, shoot a few missiles, and then I'm gonna make my way up. And then I got myself the other missile tank. God, that works so much better. Last time I tried doing that, that was completely awful. Now I'm gonna start all the way over here, because then the only way to get back up is the shine spark. I'm gonna do that. Okay. So now, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I can get through this hallway faster by getting speed booster going again. Alright. Let's go straight through the hallway. Grab ourselves a missile expansion on the way. Oh, but it doesn't end there. There is another speed booster part right here, which we are going to need to do because the next part might get a little tricky. So you want to come this way and then you want to jump as soon as you hit the slope of the save room and then store it again, jump up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, great. Stupid enemy. So now, I want to at least get this power up, and then I was going to save and then call it there. Right. And then shine spark to the right, and there we go. Now, believe it or now, I just want to say, I cannot get this power up right now. I, I mean, I just don't know if I don't have the ability to or what, but it's really hard to get. I'm going to shine spark through that little block that's indented there. I'm going to shoot, fire missile, and then we want to jump speed boost through all those blocks. If you watch it again, then you'll definitely see what I did. But basically, in a nutshell, there was a three block, there was like a three by three block thing in the way. And what happened is, is that like you have to shoot through them with your wave beam. And upon doing so, and then upon doing so, you'll like go through all the blocks, but only one will still be in your way. Now this block in question that's in your way can only be destroyed by a missile. So you have to fire a missile, and then, and then that way you're able to jump. Now this fake lava here, bust right, bust right here. No, shoot a bomb right there, and you'll get yourself a missile tank. Now I'm past 16 minutes, so I need to make this quick. Hopefully I don't fall and screw myself over. Because I know I'm getting close to a safe room. But hell, the more I cover. I have hour-long videos, but I just don't want to try and go over 15 minutes. For the sake that sometimes when you record Abby's, if you go too long, then it uses up so much memory that it's corrupted. And I can't be having that. Super missile block here. Shoot a play bomb here, shoot, and guess what? We get ourselves another super missile tank. So now we can hold five. Yay, five OP missiles, which I can't say no to that. Now this is really tricky. So you gotta freeze this guy here and then jump on him. Okay, I'm trying to be extremely careful here. All right, then you wanna go over here, grab onto the sledge. Yes, I did it. All right, cool, cool, cool. And get through all these guys. Uh, we all have to die. I'm sorry. Come in here, and there's a super missile expansion. But, up here in the corner, there's an opening. And in here is a missile expansion right here. Just a block floating in midair. If we come this way, we can get another missile expansion. And then here, we get another missile expansion. Now these missile expansions here just require some quick timing. Luckily I knew what was going to happen when I was trying to get them, so I'm not too worried. Okay then. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Alright. Now we should be coming up on a save room. Alright. Which is good, because we need to go this way anyway. So I'm going to end the video here. Sorry this one was about a few minutes longer than the last. So. I will see you guys next time. Laters.